<laughs> yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this situation. The story really began a few months ago, but we'll get to that story in a little bit. This is a multiple part video series on how to run air conditioning off only the sun and lithium batteries. And in the last one, we schemed out our system, ran a crap ton of wire, mounted the inverter, bus bars, and a ton more. In this one, we're gonna be ripping off the old solar panels, installing half of the new ones, running some more wires, getting our new Epoch batteries one step closer to being fully installed. Let's get back to that story. A few months ago, my girlfriend said she'd move back onto a sailboat with me if I could figure out how to sustainably run our air conditioning through the night, every night. So I did what any guy would do and I got to work. I started off by watching YouTube videos and reading online forums, while also searching for a new boat to buy. After a lot of hours of learning and researching, I was starting to feel pretty confident, but I still wasn't all the way sure. And then the thought came to me, hey, AI is getting pretty good these days. Why not use it as a frame of reference or a backup to confirm these numbers that I was giving? And it turns out it was giving me some pretty damn good information. And the more specific I got, the better the information got. Pretty soon I started to realize that the dream of running AC off just the sun and batteries might actually be possible. Now obviously this should only be used as a frame of reference or backup, not your main source of information. We also decided to bring on Mike, the local legend and professional, to make sure we didn't burn the boat down with any stupid wiring decisions. So let's get straight into removing these old solar panels. Oh yeah, there you go, babe. Does it work? Smart to have the towel right on top. Yeah, geez, babe, you need glasses. There it is. Oh, holy shit. Hey. <laughs> a big, I don't know how we, we had to cover that. That's huge. Well, it'll be covered by the other solar panels, right? No. It's not going to be flat. It's not going to be flat. Sunglasses would be a good idea. Yeah, you need some. One up, three to go. There was glass literally everywhere. All over the decks below, all over the top decks. The boys were getting cut everywhere. Ugh, it was such a mess. Why would they do that? So big. You got it off. So this, this is what happens when Mike does it, and then no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so panel one went to shit. Panel two, we got off without shattering. Hell so yeah! That is a win. That's amazing. Ooh. That is a big win. We'll get the panels off. You get the rest. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go second. Well, do you have enough. a garbage bag? Let me. I I don't have a big big one. I have a small one, and it's not even heavy duty. So this is where things started to get pretty interesting. Unfortunately, we didn't have the camera rolling, so I'm just gonna tell the story right here. So Nelly left us to go to the store to get grocery or trash bags because we didn't have any. And Mike and I were over here trying to scrape these nasty panels off. And I'm holding on like this, right? And it's kind of awkward, like you gotta really like get some strength in here to scrape when these panels were on. So I was holding on like this, scraping really hard. The panels were over here. And I was like trying to get under the glue and scraping really hard. And it just went here and I slipped and just went across my arm with the scraper. And I had a traumatic incident as a child where cow blood got all in my mouth. We'll get into that another time. And I passed out. And when I woke up, I had the worst blood phobia that is known <laughs> He's um, not lying. <laughs> it's bad so that still haunts me today and i did that and i looked and immediately was like i'm probably gonna need stitches but i was like play it cool play it cool everything's fine everything's fine and then i look and blood is just all down my arm it's going down the thing and i look and mike's up there and i'm like dude i just cut myself and i go and mike's like Oh shit, dude, you're gonna need st like he was freaking out and it just hit me then. So I'm bleeding all over the boat and I'm trying not to pass out. I can feel myself getting like really sick and nauseous. So I come in here and I put my arm over the sink. So I'm bleeding, there's blood dripping all over this and I just start vomiting. Like I'm, I'm feeling myself vomiting 
and Mike comes to check on me. Mike has a blood phobia too, so it's a bad combination. He's not looking good behind me. In my body, I just lose control. I'm I'm literally puking, like bleh, drying, and trying to hold it in. And I just start uncontrollably puking and then farting the loudest farts you can imagine. It's horrible. Like, like crazy. I'm laughing in between because it's so ridiculous. Mike looks like a ghost, but he's laughing too. And it was chaos. But uh, I survived. <laughs> All right, I have a severe blood phobia and just cut the shit out of my arm. Luckily, Mike was taking care of me. Don't look if you're uh, if you don't like blood, but I've been gushing. I was all over the sink, running down my arm. Luckily, this thing has a gimbal. My hand's still fucking quivering. <laughs> but we're making progress on the solar panel, so that's a win. And uh, I might need stitches, but uh, I'm not sure yet. We'll figure that out later. <laughs> After I got stitched up, we made it back to the boat and Mike was just finishing up. All right, and for whatever reason, Bali decided they needed to cut an eight by eight inch hole for every panel. So we have four of those for those tiny, shitty hundred watt panels. We gotta uh, cover them. Plexiglass that we were using for the dog doors. We're just gonna cut that up and then uh, use it and cut the hole. All right, we're getting this done just in the nick of time. Some heavy rain was heading our way, so we were in a big hurry to get this done. After lots of blood, sweat, and some stitches, we decided to call it a day there with the rain coming in, all feeling super relieved to finally have those old panels off. Here's the aftermath of pulling the glass panels off. Pretty gross and nasty looking, so we gotta get that cleaned up. Here's Mike's side so far, looking a little bit better. All right, now I'm gonna get to work over here. As we were finishing up, the rain started coming once again. We really wanted to get a layer of primer down, so we had to move quick. This wasn't a process we wanted to rush, but sometimes you gotta work with whatever mother nature gives you. We got a quick layer of primer on and then went downstairs to start running some more wire. All right, it's hole drilling time. So originally we were thinking we were gonna have to drill a pretty big hole right here and put an access panel in order to get those wires up through the wall. But then Mike got a little intimate with the boat today, crawled underneath this floorboard here and realized that maybe he could drill a hole and then just get up to that access area. Time to snake, huh? All right, um, where do you want me? You're gonna have to stand over me. Get down, no, you're gonna oh have to. Don't teabag me, <laughs> okay. So step over me, open this door. Okay. And you're gonna look for the snake, all and right? And you said teabag you on the way, right? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get it from there up through here. There it is. Nice. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Hold that. All right. And take the wires. Oh, we're gonna go after we're done and we're gonna look up Jerry's kids. All right. And what Jerry rig? I'm filming right now. We're gonna ask the audience: Is Jerry rigging offensive, or is Mike gun soft? <laughs> you have home. Oh yeah, that's nice and light. <laughs> oh, come on. This is the most awkward angle. All right, I'm gonna set the oh, camera down. Oh shit. All right, got that shit. I don't have enough uh, hands to show you guys, but these wires we just pulled through, we just pushed them up to the top over there and got them through. Those are the uh, cables we just pushed through, and now they're up to the battery switches here, and we're living. Oh, shit. Oh, you good? Oh. All right, all for the I, camera, I just killed stuck. Mike. Oh. All right, we're trying to get this uh, black uh, ground through there to the batteries. He's actually able to reach it, so we're pushing it through now. You got it? Yeah. Okay, it's getting pushed through, and that worked out that he's able to reach it. Oh, and the and ground's now, right there. Look, there's the ground bus bar. Where's it at? Right here. Nice. So now the bus bar is right there, and we're gonna attach the batteries there. Woo! Nice, hell yeah. You got a concussion now, oh, but. Man. 
At least I'm not cut open. Yeah, yeah okay. No, <laughs> no stitches at least. All right, what's up guys? We made it back to the boat. Mike and I got rained out trying to put the paint and primer on the other day, so Nelly and I are gonna finish the project. The sound effects make it way better. All right, the priming is done. We are gonna wait a while and then come back, do some sanding, and then we can go in with our top coat. While we're waiting for that primer to dry, we had cheeseburgers delivered. This is gonna be greatly missed. So worth the ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good. Mm. Once we finish up, we'll probably do something crazy. Have a look. I don't know. And then we'll go paint. You gotta sit on your chin. Get it. Lick it off. Mm. Gotta give her a quick mineral spirits rub and then we'll let it dry and start the painting. Alright, and here's another problem I keep running into that I didn't really expect to run into. Anytime I go to add more primer or paint or anything, in the middle of it, while I'm waiting for it to dry, a bird comes around and shits right in the middle. Damn. So after painting, we had to run back up to the house for a few days. And after a while, the stitches were about ready to come out. And rather than going and paint a dock to do it, I decided to ask Nellie if she was up for the task. And she said she was. Oh, I don't know if I like this, dude. I picked up with my left hand. Oh, it's out. Let's go. One down. 27 to go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That was so good, dude. I can't. Knock me up. I can't. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm clean. I'm sterile. This is a sterile environment. All right. We'll come back when we're on the last one. We're using a uh, grooming kit that <laughs> Nelly got for me with tweezers and little mustache scissors. Oh, that's a weird feeling. Done! Let's go! Let's nice work, baby! Come on! Time has finally come. There's a little glue over there we gotta get rid of still. She looks so much better. Well, I was holding on to some water. It's not perfect, but to go from this to this is a win in our book. Next step was to get these new 120 watt panels fitted to install up top. Don't scratch it if you can help it. Or the boot. Obstacle course. <laughs> we ultimately decided we weren't going to screw them into the boat today, but we wanted to make sure everything fit nice and looked good. So we are going up to measure the solar panels to make sure we put them in the right place. <laughs> So we've mounted the little brackets. Oh yeah, baby. Do you want me to go up there? Are you good? Just try to set it. Set it right there for now. We were super happy with how the panels were looking up there, but we really needed to get back to work on the battery situation. So we decided to hold this off for later. All right, unfortunately to reach the batteries, we got to rip the bed all the way apart. But luckily we have the best organizer bed ripper on the planet on this boat. I don't know if I'm the good, best ripper. I'm the best organizer for sure. Nice. I've earned that title. I'm gonna put you at like two times speed so it's like Mario Kart or something. Oh the first couple weeks. Oh boy. We gotta pull these screws out. Alright babe. You gotta get in here and deadlift these batteries out. They're so heavy, this is too deep. So, we double team this with Mike here. Okay, 
Damn. That was a strong bad. girl. Oops. Yeah. So do you see these little switches here? Yeah. So in the book we got, it will show us like exactly how to program it for what we want. But in this video, we're going to, uh, here in a minute, we're gonna program these and uh, get them synced up. We're gonna make one, the master and two slaves. Now Nelly's getting in there and removing the dip switch cover. All right, last one. Fucking hell, okay. Oh, I gotta pop these off. Oh, nice. We're looking for up and three down. Right now, we don't have that, so. Yeah. Three down. Master. Alright, slave. Slave one. Alright, babe. All down? Four down. One up. Three down. Okay, done. Done. Slave two is down, up, down, up. Alright, good. good. Epoch makes it pretty easy. All you gotta do is look at this. And then match it up here. Designate a master, slave one, slave two. Just match it up. Pretty simple. So what are you doing? This is the... Daisy chain. Daisy chain. Daisy chain. To connect the batteries. All right, so we had a slight bit of confusion on how to connect the batteries properly, but we were able to make a quick call to Epoch. They answered our questions. We got it all set up now. All right, so every battery is on, they're all connected, and we got them charging up for now, but they're good to go. All we have to do now is just put them back in place and then hook, you know, obviously the positive up and then the, ne the negative ground for the boat, and uh, the batteries will be live. That is freaking exciting. All right, time for a quick lunch break. Nelly went and got our favorite local sandwiches from the Italian Bakery market. or market? Yeah, Italian market. They're so good. I don't, I'm a big panini girl, and, and these hit the spot. Let's <laughs> go. Alright, Nelly just said... This is her favorite panini in the world right now. This can't be beat. All right, we're going to finish this one off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for next week when I get my hands dirty down in one of these little dungeons and install some airlocks and get a couple steps closer to sailing away.